top five fresh niche fragrances. Let's go. All right now, hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Let's get right into the list. These are top five fresh niche fragrances you should check out for 2019. I'm gonna go right through the list real quick. What are your top five? Leave a comment down below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it on. Number five on the list is a fragrance that I've talked about several times on my channel. I really enjoy the fragrance. I know it gets a, a love and hate because the performance isn't the best, but it does smell really good and gorgeous. And it's my number five on the list. My number five is from a house of Aqua de Parma. Is no one Aqua de Parma? Fico de Amalfi. This one here has notes a bergamot, orange blossom, grapefruit, mandarin, wood, fig, pink pepper, jasmine, musk, and cedar. So this fragrance here is just gorgeous. It's just a fragrance that you can wear during the summertime and the springtime. It's light, it's fresh, it's clean. I have not found anyone to say to dislike this fragrance. And my girlfriend Kelly picked this up for me, uh, for me as a gift for my for Christmas last year. So I appreciate that. It does lack some of the performance issues on some people's skin, but I enjoy spraying it and I can reapply it and I enjoy it. And I use a, I put a big dent in it, if you see. So my number five is Fico de Amalfi by Aqua de Parma. Okay, my number four on the list. My number four is a fragrance. I'll go over some notes real quick before I show you the bottle. We have notes of juniper berries, nutmeg, coriander, musk, amber, woods, and vanilla. This fragrance is a fragrance I enjoy. I love it. I said before I probably might wear it on my wedding day or day I pose with my girlfriend. This fragrance is amazing, and I enjoy it. It's my first from the house of MFK. If you don't know what it is, it's Mason Francis Kirchhoff, General Fluidity, Silver. This fragrance smells amazing. I, just, to me, it's just, it's like a luxury fragrance. It's fresh, it's clean, it's something you can wear. You can wear the signature all year if you want to. It, I have great performance on my skin. I get great longevity and projection. I got a few comments wearing this fragrance here. Definitely check this fragrance out if you haven't heard of MFK lineup. Definitely check it out. They have a lot of great fragrances, like Baccarat Rouge 540. They have Oud, they have oud fragrances. They have a bunch of fragrances. Definitely check out MFK fragrances. Now we're going to jump in to my number three on the list. A fragrance I picked up recently this year. I know some people are going to give the love and hate because the original they said was better. I didn't enjoy the original. I didn't really. It's okay, but I enjoy the flanker to it. And it's no other than Creed Ventus Cologne. And this fragrance here has notes of ginger, mandarin, basil rose, has notes of mint, vetiver, and this fragrance here is just, and has some musk in it. This fragrance here is just gorgeous. I enjoy it, so I know it does have some similarities to the original Creed if you smell this, but this does open up with that very citrus, and it has that mint towards the middle of the fragrance, on my skin that is, and I just enjoy this one a lot. I'm happy I have this in my collection. I know some people say it's redundant to buy this if you have the original. Everybody's gonna be different. I prefer this over the original, and I get pretty good projection and pretty good longevity. It's not the best, but I'm happy with it, and I can detect this more off my skin than the original Creed. That's it. I'm not bashing them. I have a bunch of Creed fragrances. You guys know that. Creed Viking, Silver Mountain Water. This right here, list goes on and on. So, yeah, this is my number three. Definitely check out Creed Aventus Cologne. Okay. My number two on the list is a fragrance that this is really nice. I enjoy ever since I got it. My girlfriend, we both tested out the Creed Boutique about maybe a year or so ago, and I picked it up, and it's no other than Silver Mountain Water. And this fragrance has notes of bergamot, um, black currant, green tea. This fragrance here, I just like this one a lot. This is a fragrance I feel like I've said before in the video that if I'm sick, I still wear this. It reminds me of when I'm sick, I spray this on. I just want to feel better. And I drink a lot of tea when I don't feel good. So I definitely enjoy uh, Creed Silver Mountain Water. Even when I'm sick, or I like to wear it because it's a fresh fragrance. It has notes of bergamot in it. It's an overall fragrance that you should, comments, you should get comments wearing this fragrance. If you don't, well, you might not. But I feel like the majority of people that I know wear this fragrance have received comments, people around them like it, my girlfriend likes it, even she wears it sometimes. You know, because I have a lot of fragrance that she likes to wear, so definitely check this out if you're a man or a female. Creed Silver Mountain Water. And my number one on the list is a new fragrance. You guys don't even know I have it, but I did a video first impression with a little sample, but 
Yeah, I got a bottle of it. And, well, you're going to find out right now. So my number one on the list is no other than the fragrance has bergamot, cashmere, um, Broxton Super, if you know what that means. We have bergamot, mandarin, grapefruit. We have rosemary. We have lemon, spearmint. We have vetiver, lavender, incense, sandalwood, and cedars. No other than Parfums de Marley, Sydney, Sedley. Parfums de Marley, Sedley. This one here, I like this one. You know, it's one of them fragrances that it's fresh. It has that spearmint, that mint note in it too. I'm not saying it's a big mint fragrance, but I do get a lot of mint off of my skin wearing this fragrance here. People have talked about it with performance are, are kind of horrible on people's skin. It doesn't last the most. I've got a sample and I got a couple hours. I did a review on it. I got this for a great deal, um, which I'll talk about in the future when I do a full review on this fragrance here. Shout out to Max uh, Forte for hooking me up with a good discount for this fragrance here. And, I, and the price I got it for, I really can't beat it. So I enjoy this one, my second Perfumes de Marley fragrance. And yeah, you definitely should get a sample and test it out. You might get better projections. Some people will get four hours, some people will get three hours, some people have gotten six, some people have gotten eight hours. So definitely do your research, get a sample. I'll leave links down below where a company I work for called Alpha Fragrances that you can order samples of this fragrance. Most of the fragrances that I talked about today, so definitely check it out. Definitely check out Perfumes de Marley, sadly. Okay, that's the list for today. What are your top five fresh niche fragrances? Please leave a comment down below. What's your scent of the day? Please leave a comment down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Peace.